However careful you are, the fact remains that fires do happen. And if they do, you must know what to do. Otherwise, you may not survive. If the alarm goes off, the emergency services go into action. Leave the building immediately, not five or ten minutes later when you finish sending an email or pack your bag and put on your coat, now. Remember, if you hear the fire alarm, act quickly. Leave everything and move quickly, but don't panic. If you're the last to leave the room, close the door behind you, but don't lock it. Locked doors can hinder the emergency services. Don't assume the fire alarm is just a drill. Even if you can't see a fire or smell any smoke, there may be a fire in another part of the building. Fire can spread very rapidly and is highly unpredictable. If you ignore a fire alarm, you could end up trapped in a burning building. If you hear the alarm, you need to know where to go according to the evacuation plan for your building. This may be a different route from the one you usually take. This is why fire drills are so important and why you must take them seriously. During a drill, it's easy to see where you're going. But would you be able to find your way out if the room was full of smoke or there was no electricity? Taking part in a fire drill is the best way of familiarizing yourself with exit procedures. It's hard to remain calm during a fire, so make sure that you know where the emergency exits are before you need them. In some buildings, there'll be more than one escape route. Fire is so unpredictable that it's vital to have alternative ways of getting out. Never use the lift to leave a burning building. You could end up trapped, and some lifts don't function in the event of fire. It may be that certain employees have special responsibilities as part of the emergency plan in the event of an emergency. Fire safety officers, for example, check that everyone has left the building. They also draw up special evacuation plans for disabled staff. Escape routes should be the shortest routes possible, with sufficient space to allow all staff through, including people in wheelchairs. Employers must also mark doors that may be mistaken for emergency exits. A no exit sign may mean that someone ends up trapped in a burning building. Exits must never be blocked. All staff must be familiar with the escape routes and know where to assemble following an emergency evacuation. The assembly point must be at a safe distance from the building. If you have to leave a building and you come across a closed door, use the back of your hand to feel whether the door is hot. If it is, don't open it. This may be the only thing between you and the fire. Remember, remaining calm may save your life. Think of the fire drill and don't panic. If you become trapped, try to block the ventilation holes and the chinks around the doors. Keep down on the floor where there's less smoke and more oxygen. If your clothes catch on fire, don't start running. This provides the fire with more oxygen and will fan the flames. Do precisely the opposite. Stop, drop to the ground, and roll backwards and forwards to smother the flames.